Yes, the Bible's clear. The Bible says the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Believe. Obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Turn from all your sin. Turn from all your wickedness and your wicked ways. Turn unto the living God. Turn to the God of the Bible. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Most of you people are going to fall headlong into the fires of hell. Most of you people are going to wind up in the fires of hell because you will not repent before a holy God and surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible's clear that man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word of God, by every word of God, man shall not live by bread, but by every word of God, and the word of God is clear. Jesus Christ said, He that rejected me and receiveth not my words, have one that will judge him. The word, the word, the same which I have spoken shall judge him in the last day. The word of God, the word of God will judge you in the last day. Jesus was clear. Jesus Christ was clear. He said, except you repent, except you repent, ye shall likewise perish, except you turn from your sin, except you turn from your wicked ways, you will surely die in your sin. You will surely die in your sin. You are condemned before holy God. You are condemned in your sin before holy God. And God's calling you to repent today. God's calling you to turn back to Him. To turn from your wicked ways. And turn unto the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords, God bless you. Yes, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. He can take away your sin. He can cast your sin as far as east is from the west. He can forgive you people, but you want sin, you want iniquity, you want to get drunk, get high, get laid, you want to have sex outside of me, you want to masturbate, you want to look at pornography, you want to lust, and you want to party. But there be no party in hell for you. Just fire. Just fire in hell. Oh, I'm pleading with you today to repent. The Bible's clear. Come out from among them. Come out from among them. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. 
touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, God says. Touch not the unclean thing, and God says he will receive you. Oh, you're going to perish. You're going to be smoking in hellfire, sir. If you don't turn from your sin, you'll be surely smoking in hellfire for all of eternity. Jesus Christ said, if your hand causes you to offend, he said, cut off your hand, cast it from you. For it would be more profitable for you if one of your members should perish than your whole body be cast into hell. He said, if your foot causes you to offend, cut it off. Cut it off and cast it from you. For it would be more profitable for you if one of your members should perish then your whole body be cast into hell fire. He said, if your eye causes you to sin, if your eye causes you to offend, pluck out your eye, cast it from you, for it would be more profitable for you if one of your members should perish then your whole body be cast into hell fire. If you're out here, you're in danger of hell. If you're out here to get drunk, you're in danger of hell. If you're out here to get high, get laid and party it up and booze it up, you are out here. You don't fear God, Bourbon Street. You don't fear the Lord. You hate knowledge and you do not choose the fear of the Lord. Oh, I'm loving you right now. I'm calling you to repent. Oh, I'm telling you you're in danger. I'm not here to sell me alone. I'm not here to sell me alone. That you're in trouble with God. You're in danger of hellfire. Oh, repent. Oh, repent. You Catholics are going to burn in hellfire. You Catholics, you unregenerate, unrepentant sinners are going to burn in hellfire except you turn from all your sin. Except you turn from all your sin. Except you forsake all your sins, you will surely die and you will surely end up in the lake of fire. Oh, I'm calling you to repent today before it's too late. God bless you, sir. Oh, I'm calling you to repent today before you die and go to hell. Oh, Jesus wants it. Jesus wants me to tell you you're on your way to hell. Jesus wants me to tell you that you're condemned in your sin. Jesus, bring your own bullhorn, buddy. Get your own. I'm here today to tell you to repent. I'm here today to tell you to turn to the Lord. Oh, because the grace of God is good. The grace of God is good. And it teaches you not to live like a heathen. The grace of God teaches you to live sober. Lead Bourbon Street. Sober, leave Bourbon Street, righteously, godly, this isn't godly, this drunk fest isn't of God, it's of the devil, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning, for this purpose, the Son of God, was manifest, was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Oh, for whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. You gotta be born of God. 
You got to be born again. You got to be born again. You got to be born from above. You got to have a, a supernatural transformation. That's what you got to have to be set free from your bondage. You're like the Israelites in Egypt out here. Slaves to sin. Slaves to drunkenness. Slaves to homosexuality. Slaves. You're slaves. But I don't know the one that can make you free. I know a great physician. And he said, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. God, Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh, came to call sinners to repentance. And if you're a sinner, if you're a sinner, you need Jesus Christ. If you're living in sin, you're a child of the devil. If you're partaking with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, barriers, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, and beings, and beings, drunkenness, drunkenness, drunkenness and revelings. Oh, he said, as I told you before, oh, as I told you now, even as I've told you in times past, that they that do such things, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. You sodomites, you perverts, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Except you turn, except you turn away from your sin, except you give up your sin, you're going to perish in hell. You're going to bust hell wide open because you love sin and you hate Jesus. You love sin and you hate Jesus. You hate Jesus and that's why you're going to hell. That's why you're going to hell. Because you hate the Son of God. You reject the Son of God. You reject the Son of God. And that's why you're going to perish. But we're here that you might repent. We're here that you might repent. We're here that you might turn from your sin. We're here that you might receive the grace and mercy of God. That you can receive the grace and mercy of God. That you can receive Jesus Christ. That you can be born again. You can be born again, again, but you're a child of wrath because you love sin. Oh, God can save a hard-hearted, stiff-necked sinner like you. God can save a hard-hearted, stiff-necked sinner like you, but you got to humble yourself. you got to come down. You are a sinner. You're a child of the devil. That's why I'm here today to tell you But you can be saved. You can be saved. You can be born again. You can repent of all your sin. You can repent of all your sin and turn to Jesus. Be saved. Be born again of the Holy Ghost. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You can receive eternal life today. You can receive a gift from God today. But you can't save yourself. That's why you need Jesus. That's why you got to put your faith in Jesus Christ. You can't save yourself, friend. You can't save yourself. But Jesus can save you. Jesus can save you. He's the only one that can save you. You can't save him. You can't save yourself. But Jesus, Jesus can save you. But when you accept Jesus, you'll have a change of heart, change of mind. You won't live like a heathen. You'll have new thoughts, new, new things to look for. Oh, heavenly things to look for in Christ. Heavenly things to look for in Jesus. Not wicked things, not sinful things, not ungodly things. But you'll love what God loves, and you'll hate what God hates, and God hates sin, 
and God hates all workers of iniquity. All the foolish shall not stand in his sight. God will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. God abhors the bloody and deceitful man. But God is gracious. God can save you if you'll humbly repent before him. Hey, bro, you look if you'll like you forsake need to your sin. I'm hold you. You look you like you've been living in the fucking iniquity. hills, bro. God, God bless you, man. Thank you for spitting on me. I appreciate that. Yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. God is light. In him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Yes, the blood, the precious blood, the blood that he shed for you on Calvary, the blood that he shed for you at the place of the skull, Golgotha, the blood that he shed for you that he poured out when he was lashed open, when he was ripped apart, when he had the crown of thorns placed upon his head, when he had the nails driven through his hands and then driven through his feet, and he sat there and he bled and he died for you, not so you could live ungodly, not so you could be a drunk, not so you could be a pervert, not so you could be a whore or a whoremonger, but that you could have victory in Christ Jesus by simply turning away from all your sin and putting your faith in Christ on the cross and being set free and being redeemed. I'm, I'm a and being brother. redeemed, you're not a Christian, you're a liar, you're a child of the devil, and God's going to put you in hell except you repent. God can't save. God resists the proud by fast. Don't deceive yourself thinking you're a Christian out here living like a child of the devil. You're deceived and you need Christ Jesus, man. You gotta humble yourself. You gotta humble yourself and put your faith in Christ. Oh, before it's too late. Before it's too late. Oh, I'm here today to beg you. I'm here today to tell you to flee from the wrath that is to come, people. Flee from the wrath that is to come. Judgment's coming, and you are not ready, New Orleans. You're not ready for God to come back. You need to Your go Bible to said, Behold, the Lord go cometh with you ten thousands of his saints to no execute you judgment upon all and to convince all the ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed in all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are murmurs and complainers walking after their own lusts. Walking after their own lusts. Having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, burning as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be as stubble, and that day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. It shall neither leave them root nor branch. But unto you who fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing his wings. No tough guys on Judgment Day, buddy. No tough guys on Judgment Day. You're going to stand before a holy God and you're going to be judged condemned and kicked in the hell except you repent except you repent if you love me throw that drink down and get right with god right now take your beads off too and get right with jesus christ because god doesn't love you in your sin you gotta repent you gotta turn away from your sin you gotta forsake your sin you gotta get right with the holy god because he's gonna judge you in righteousness god's not playing games with any of you sinners out here today God's righteous, God is holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Yes, were they ashamed when they committed abomination? Nay, they were not ashamed at all, neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall, 
in the day that I, God says, in the day that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord of hosts. In the day that I shall visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. They said, we're not going to walk in the ways of God. They said, we're going to climb up some other way. We're going to do it our own way. We're going to live like a devil and go to heaven, right? No, you're wrong. You're going to live like a devil and go straight to hell like a devil. You're going to live like a devil. I'm not your friend. I'm your friend, and I'm telling you to get right with God and turn from your sin, repent, or perish. That's your problem. That's your problem. You don't obey Jesus. You don't obey Jesus. That's your problem, Bourbon Street. You don't obey Jesus. You obey the flesh. You sow into the flesh. The Bible said you're going to die. You sow to your flesh. The Bible said you're going to die. But if you sow to the Spirit, you shall reap life everlasting. Brother, brother, for we are not debtors to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. And you live in sin. You live in iniquity. You work your sin before the eyes of the one that sits on the throne. Before the eyes of the one that sits on the throne. The Holy One. The Just One. The Righteous One. The one that will come back with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance upon them that know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. God will destroy you in hell fire. God will rain down fire and brimstone on this wicked nation if it does not seek God and repent. America, you need to repent. Bourbon Street, you need to repent. It's time to get right with God because judgment is fastly approaching. Judgment is fastly approaching. And the Bible's clear that God has set the watchman over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But we said, we will not hearken. We're not going to listen to the sound of the trumpet. We're not going to listen to the warning of God. We're just going to keep on getting drunk. We're going to keep on playing around with our sin. We're going to double down on the God of the Bible. But we all know how it ends, folks. Your party will come to an end when our holy God executes judgment upon your sorry carcasses. It's time to repent. It's time to turn from your wicked ways and turn unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, Therefore, as the tares are gathered together and burned in the fire, so shall it be at the end of the world, the Son of Man. The Son of Man will send his angels to gather forth out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. They shall be cast into a furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Oh, there's going to be wailing and gnashing and weeping of teeth in the fires of hell in hell fire that's where you're going that's what you have to look forward to if you continue to rebel against god if you continue to stiffen your neck and harden your heart towards god you will surely die you will surely go to the fires of hell for all of eternity oh you're worthy of death the bible says you're worthy of death in your sin 
Oh, but Jesus Christ came, friend. Jesus Christ came that you might be saved. That you might be saved. The Bible is clear. Jesus said that the Son of Man that came to seek and save that which is lost. He came to seek and save that which is lost. And you people are lost. You people are dazed and confused. You people are marching your way into the furnace. You people are marching your way into the furnace of fire. Into the furnace of fire. That's where you're going to go, buddy. If you don't get right with God, that's where God's going to put you, except you repent, because God, God is holy, and he will not have workers of iniquity in his kingdom. Oh, you got to be purified. You got to be washed. You got to be washed in the blood of Jesus. You got to come to the cross of Calvary. You got to come to Calvary to get right with God. Oh, you got to submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your heart, you double-minded. Be afflicted in mourning, weep. Let your laughter turn to mourning and your joy unto heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Lay apart all filthiness. Lay apart all filthiness and superfluity and naughtiness. And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. But be ye a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Deceiving yourself. Oh, deceived on bourbon. You're deceived on bourbon. God has, oh, the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Oh, you follow the prince and power of the air. You need to follow the prince of peace. You need to find some peace in your life. Because there is no peace, said my God, to the wicked. There's no peace, said my God, to the wicked. You're going to bust hell wide open. Oh, except you repent. Oh, the Bible said, repent ye therefore, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send you Jesus Christ, whom he has sent forth among us. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. You're going to stand before Jesus. You're going to give an account to Jesus. You're going to go before Jesus because you're going to die. And you need Christ Jesus the Lord. You need an advocate for the Father. Oh, you need the propitiation through. Oh, you need the propitiation through faith in his blood. Oh, put your faith. Put your hope. Put your trust in Jesus Christ before it's everlasting too late. Before it's everlasting too late. His son that died for you. The Bible's clear that Christ died for our sins. According to the scriptures, he was buried and he rose again the third day. According to the scriptures, Christ died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. Jesus Christ said, enter ye in at the straight gate. At the straight gate, homo. At the straight gate. For wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction. And many there be which go in thereof. Because straight is the gate. Narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Oh, but if you don't abide in Christ, if you don't abide in Jesus Christ, if you don't abide in the vine, he said you'll be uh, cast forth as withered, as withered, and he will gather you, and he will burn you in the fire. He will burn you in the fire. Oh, don't be caught outside of Christ. Don't be caught outside of Christ. The Lord will return, people. He will return like a thief in the night. He will return like a thief in the night. He's going to come back suddenly. He's going to come back quickly. 
and most of you people in a modern day Babylon are in perpetual sleep. You are in a perpetual sleep. Hear ye nations and know ye congregation who is among them. Hear, O earth. Hear, O earth. I, God says, will bring evil upon this people and give them to the fruit of their own thoughts because they have not hearkened to my words nor to my law but rejected it you reject the word of god you reject his law you reject his commands because you love your sin you love your sin there's no peace for you today time for you to repent time for you to repent Time before you turn to Jesus Christ, before you die in your sins, before you perish in the fires of hell. Yes, God, God wants to save you, but you gotta repent. God wants to save you, but you must repent. You must forsake. Oh, the Bible's clear. He said, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. Repent. Turn from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Oh, turn from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. You will reap what you sow, sinner. You're going to reap what you sow. If you sow into the flesh, you're going to die. You're going to end up in hell. You're going to perish in the fires of hell. You choose to go to hell. You choose to go to hell because you want your sin. You want your sin. You don't want Christ. You don't want the blood. You don't want the blood. You want your sin. That's what you want. You want your sin. Some, sometimes it'll cut out a little bit. It might be the volume. You, you want your sin more than you want God, people. All that I'm telling you today. You're going to get everlasting fire for your sin. You're going to get everlasting fire for your sin. You're going to get hell and torment and damnation for your sin. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Behold, the hour is coming when all that are in the grave shall be in his voice, and they shall come forth, those that have done good to the resurrection of life. Those that have done evil to the resurrection of damnation. The Lord God says, let this be the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. And keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every work and every secret thing in the judgment, whether it be good, whether it be evil. The Bible said, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with fierce wrath and anger, to lay the land desolate, and to destroy the sinners, and to destroy the sinners, and to destroy the sinners, thereof out of it, God will lay the land desolate. He will destroy the sinners thereof out of it. The Bible said that the destruction of the transgressors and sinners shall be together, and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. You have forsaken the right way. You have forsaken the good way. You have forsaken the holy way. You have forsaken the straight and narrow way, and you've chose lasciviousness. You chose idolatry. You have chosen witchcraft. You chose to be a drunk. You chose to be a pothead. You chose to be a punk. And God's gonna put you in hell, except you repent. God's gonna put you in hell, except you repent. God will execute vengeance upon the wicked. God will execute vengeance. He will lay you down and drop you straight into hellfire. God will drop you straight into hellfire. 
God will put you straight into hellfire. God will smoke you in the anger of this land. God will make you feel a bit of fire and accept you repent, accept you turn, accept you forsake your wicked ways. God will destroy you. God will kill you. And you people deserve hellfire. Deserve hellfire. Deserve hellfire for your wicked ways. But the news today is you don't have to get what you deserve. You don't have to get what you deserve. You could humbly. Almighty God, you can humble yourself today. You can humble yourself today. You can be reconciled to God. You can be saved. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away, the old all become new. You could have it all made new today if you'll simply repent, if you'll simply put your faith in Christ. If you'll simply humble yourself before an almighty God, Jesus, if he is not your Lord, he is not your Savior. If Jesus is not your Lord, he is not your Savior. Those who know Jesus, those who love Jesus, obey Jesus. Those who love Jesus, those who love Jesus, obey Jesus. Obey Jesus. Those who love Jesus, obey Jesus. Obey the Lord. They obey God. They don't disobey God. And you, my friend, are on your way to hellfire. You need to repent. Your sin has found you out, and that's why you have a problem with me. Because your sin has found you out today. Because your sin has found you out today. That's why you... And that's why you have a problem with me. Your sin has found you out. You don't have love if you're living in sin. You don't have love if you're living in sin. You're full of hate. You sinners are full of hate. That's why you hate on God. Living in your sin. Getting drunk before God. Smoking weed before God. Looking at whores and whore monitors before a holy God. You're not loving God. You're hating God right now. You're spitting in the face of God right now with your actions, with your deeds, with your ungodly ways. And that's why you're going to perish. That's why you're going to perish. You're going to hold on to your sin all the way to the lake of fire. And it's time to repent. Oh, this is a wake-up call for you. So obviously, COVID didn't teach you people nothing. That's why you still come on spit in the face of God. That's why you still come on get drunk like a bunch of whores and whoremongers and heathens like you were and continue to live like a wicked Jezebel and God will put you in the lake of fire. The Bible's clear, but the unbelieving, oh, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the whoremongers and the murderers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all you liars all you wicked liars shall have your part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death you're gonna burn 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 in the lake of fire except you repent 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 Neck in your sin, all you fornicators, all you devil worshippers, all you rebels, oh, you got hell coming. There'll be hell to pay for you, except you turn from your wicked ways. There'll be hell to pay for you. There won't be tough guys there, buddy. Won't be any tough guys there. Won't be any tough guys in hell fire. Just wailing and weeping and gnashing your teeth. The Bible says, dry dead or in. Dry dead or in at the straight gate. 
For many will seek to enter in, but shall not be able. When once the master of the house had risen up and has shut to the door, then shall ye begin to stand without and say, Lord, 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 open unto us. Open the door, Lord. But he will say unto you, I know ye not whence ye are. Oh, and you'll say to him, Lord, but you ate and drank in our presence. You taught in our streets. But he will say unto them, I know, I know you not from whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. All ye workers of iniquity. When ye shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven and yourself thrust out. You're going to be thrust out because you will not repent. You're going to be smoking in hell, lady. You're going to be smoking in hell. You're going to be smoking in hell. But you... Christ will return. Jesus 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 Christ will return. Jesus
shall come back to judge the quick and the dead. The Bible said as it is appointed unto men once to die. After this comes judgment. After this comes judgment. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Repent. Repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent therefore. Be converted that your sins shall may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The Bible says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked, that's you people, let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon the Bible said for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly we should live righteously we should live godly in this present world the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous for good works. These things speak, rebuke, and exhort with all authority. Let no man despise thee. These things speak and rebuke and exhort with all authority. Let no man despise thee. You despise a holy God. You spit in the face of a holy God. You trample on the blood of Jesus Christ by living in sin, by working your iniquity, by living like a filthy drunk, by living like a filthy sodomite, by living like a filthy pervert. You spit on the grace of God, and yet the long suffering and mercy of God is His mercy is still extended to you. His mercy is still extended to you. Even in your rebellion, even in your hardness of heart, even as you're drunk, God can still save you from your drunkenness. God can still save you from being a pervert. God can still save you from being a little masturbator and a porn pervert. God can save you, but you gotta repent. God wants you to repent. God wants you to turn to His Son. The Bible said in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. All things are made by Him, and without Him there was not anything made that was made. In Him was light, and that light was the light of men, and that light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. That's the look on your face right now, buddy. You're not comprehending the Word of God. Because you're at enmity with God. You're at war with God. You're an enemy of the cross. You love your sin. You love your drunkenness. You love getting high. You love watching porn. You like being a pervert. Admit it. But God can set you free. Christ died for you that you might be free. Jesus said, whosoever commits sin is a servant of sin, and a servant abideth not in the house forever, 
but a sun abided forever. Therefore, if the sun shall make you free, he shall be free indeed. If the sun shall make you free, he shall be free indeed. You're not free, you're a slave, you're in bondage, you love sin, you're a child of the devil, but God can save you. Jesus can forgive you. Jesus can have mercy on you. Jesus can pardon you your sin. The power of God, the power of God is present to you right now, but you're rejecting it. You're rejecting it because you want to mock, but you won't mock God on judgment day, son. You're not going to mock God on judgment day, son. You're going to give an account. You're going to give an account to God for this very day. This very day is going to be brought back before you. This very day will testify against you in God's courtroom. You will give an account to a holy God. You will give an account to a holy God. You're going to give an account to a holy God on the day of judgment. On the day of judgment. You will give an account to a holy God on the day of judgment because you're a child of the devil. You're a child of hell. You're a child of the devil. You're a worker of iniquity. But God can see. God can save you. God can pardon you. God can forgive you. But you got to humble yourself. You got to get real. You got to get real with a holy God. Because he'll surely get real with you if he casts you into hell. He'll surely get real with you if he casts you into hell. He'll surely get real with you as he blows your sorry conscience straight into hell. There's God. God. God is holy. God is pure. And you people are defiled. You're not pure. You're defiled. As obedient children. As obedient children, not fashioning yourself to your former lusts, as in your ignorance, but as he which is called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Who is written? Be ye holy, as I am holy. Be ye holy, as I. Don't fall into hell, man. Don't fall into hell, man. You might fall into hell next. You might fall into hell next. Be ye holy as I am holy, says the Lord. Says the Lord. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Follow peace with all men and holiness. Look without no man shall see the Lord. Follow peace with all men and holiness with which out no man shall see the Lord. You're not going to see the Lord in your defilement. You're not going to see the Lord as a trunk. You're not going to see the Lord as a filthy sodomite, a pervert. You're not going to see the Lord because you choose Sin. You choose debauchery. You choose your stupid deeds over the one who has the power to save. You choose drunkenness over the power of the one who has the ability and power to save you. You choose sin. Love you, brother. You choose sin. You choose iniquity. You choose the way in defilement. Before God and God sees your deeds. Behold the eyes, the eyes, the eyes of the Lord are in every place. No Orleans, no Orleans, the eyes of the Lord are in every place. I got that set up. The evil and the good. He is beholding you drunk. He is beholding you fornicated. He is beholding you lesbian. He is beholding you sodomite. I got two of the Catholics. He's beholding you Muslims. He's beholding 
do I tell George that he's gonna one day pull the rug out from under you and send you straight to hell? That's why he's in the church. That's why he's been turned to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, be forgiven by the precious blood of Jesus. Be forgiven by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. You need to be we get together and preach when we can, but it's, I haven't seen these guys I haven't seen them in two years. Last time I seen them was here in but you're an incorruptible seed. You're an incorruptible seed. You've been corrupted. You've been defiled. And you need to be born again. You need to be born again. You need to come to the altar. You need to come to Calvary. And put your faith in Jesus. And you need to be born again. You need to come to the altar. 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 Where His power is present, where His saving grace is present, where His mercy is present, where His mercy endure it from everlasting to everlasting. God, God who has power, God who has power, God is full of power and grace, and His grace is present tonight to save. His grace is present tonight to save. Save you from being a drunk. Save you from being a bird.
don't know, maybe two or three. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know. You say it like you're wrong. We all started about three this morning. Oh, even the devil. Oh, even the devil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we may head out. I mean, I was on the game, but we were preaching all night long. We got our hands on the ball. Oh, 11 o'clock in the morning. So we've just been preaching all night. Well, you got to the day crew, and now we call in the night crew. Yeah, there you go. Lord brought in the night crew. Yeah. So I'm telling Gabriel, so these guys are going to come in fresh, man. We're going to be all kind of side hanging over to the side. So you didn't have much trouble over the guy with the knife? No, he, he kind of walked around me, and he kind of walked. I had more uh, concern with Gabriel because he was closer to Gabriel, but I don't think he was intentionally yeah. pulling the knife on us. I think he just had it on his hand. That's the more important thing is just that everybody knows. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, there's, there's believers out there that say, oh, it's okay, we got God's protection. I'm thinking, man, God, you do have God's protection. Stephen, Stephen had God's protection, too, didn't he? You have to be wise, man. I have required your soul tonight. All the apostles, you know, they, they laid down their lives. I mean, I know when it happens, it happens. But I mean, you still got to be vigilant. Still got to be vigilant. Watch your back. Still got to be vigilant. Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. As the soul of the Father, so the soul of the Son is mine. As the soul of the Son is mine. Oh, I can't think of his last name. Yeah, Down at Jackson Square. Um, I don't really know him. I know him by face, but I don't know a whole lot about him. Right. In fact, this is the first time I met him tonight. Uh, but I've always seen him on YouTube video. But yeah, he's out here. I've met him. He's out there on the next block over. Oh, okay. I see Banner. Who's all with him? Oh, um, God. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. 
No, I don't think so. I can't remember his name, but I haven't seen him since or heard from him. I remember there was one guy that was a professor that was with us, and, and I heard he went back to the rest of the world. Oh, no. Wow. I don't know if that was a guy. I don't know how anybody went back. Exactly. Oh, and you taste the goodness of God. The wind is
picking up on the scriptures. The, the, you know, the scriptures that they use a lot. And they give me confidence. The with the world, his empathy, but his God, who so heavy is it? 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 Who so he